How's it going guys, Romeo here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 6 Plus. Also, I'm going to give you my first impressions about the phone, and the model that I have here is an iPhone 6 Plus, AT&T 64GB, and it's the black and space gray. First thing to note is about the packaging is that Apple went for a plain design. On the side of the box, you can see that it says iPhone with the little Apple logo, and in the front of the box, there's nothing there nothing there and nothing in the iPhone logo so um, yeah pretty pl pretty basic box uh, and then the back you get all your information but let me go ahead and unbox the phone right now so let me get my exacto knife here <laughs> just by holding the box you, you can feel that this phone is is pretty big and uh, I'm excited uh, I'm, I'm you know the reason I went for a 6 plus is I do consume a lot of media so this is actually gonna make it easier for me um, to watch videos, to take pictures, things like that. So I'm gonna be doing a comparison between this phone and the iPhone 6 in the near future. And there it is, uh, here's the iPhone. Let me go ahead and put the box on the side, get it out of the way. And uh, it's, a, it's a really beautiful device. I mean, it's, uh, you can tell that it's a big, big phone. And let me go ahead and get it out of the box real quick. There we go. Here you can appreciate the screen size, pretty big. At the bottom you have the same cables you usually get on the iPhone. And in the back it's pretty simple, just with the Apple logo. And the box, you know, your usual stuff. And you get your headphones, charging and everything. So put that on the side. Let me go ahead and uh, just show you what's in here. You know, it might be just the usual stuff from Apple, the stickers, the little quick start, you know, so that way you can kind of get all like different tips and things like that. I don't think you'd even need this anymore with the new app that you can get on your iPhone, which is tips that comes with the phone. Let me go ahead and remove the plastic real quick. And you know, that's a satisfying wishy sound. And let me go to turn on the phone. And, you know, the first thing you notice here is the Apple logo on the iPhone 6 Plus. It looks a little bit bigger. Yeah, it looks like, you know, the Apple logo on the iPad pretty much. Now, here let me put it next to uh, Galaxy S5 Active. As you can see there, not a huge difference. Um, you can see it, you know, side by side. And, uh, you know, the, the iPhone 6 Plus is going to be thinner. It's going to be lighter. And then, you know, we got the Galaxy S5 active on the other side, on the left side. We're going to set up the phone real quick, and I'm going to go through this whole process real quick, and I'll come back when it's ready. And I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the, the process here, but uh, it took me a couple minutes to set up the phone. You know, and uh, what I did is I, I just ended up uh, setting up the phone as a new device. I didn't restore from anything. So I uh, just wanted to get to the home screen just to kind of get the first impression of the phone. All right, and let's go ahead and uh, just go to the home screen. And as you can see there, it, you know, I don't have any apps or anything like that. You can do landscape and you can see your apps in landscape mode. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, be uh, testing the phone a lot. I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of reviews about this phone. So stay tuned to, you know, for more videos to come about the iPhone 6 Plus. And I uh, grab the phone real quick and I can feel it in my hand. You know, and it, the nice thing about this phone is that it's really thin. I like the size of the phone. I've had uh, the Note 4 before and I've had the Note 3. And so far this phone is, you know, pretty easy to hold if you have pretty average hands. Let me go ahead and show you texting here. So let me, uh, do, you can do the, you know, special gesture where you can double tap on the home button to bring the screen down. Yeah, definitely is pretty easy to text with uh, both hands. And, uh, you know, with one hand it works great too. Um, you just gotta stretch your hand a little bit, but it's actually, it is possible. So it's really nice. Definitely pulling down from the notification center, it's going to be a little bit of a problem there. You need two hands for that. I don't think you can do it with one hand. Um, and, you know, you can hold it like this. And it's actually a little bit easier when you hold it like this. Um, but it definitely is not a two, it's not a one-handed device. It's a two-handed device. All right, guys, that's my time. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Peace.